Hi, I'm Janvi. I'm here for my IELTS practice interview. Hi, we're going to conduct a full interview for Janvi today as practice for her upcoming IELTS test. At the end of the video, I'll be giving a brief analysis of her performance in the test as well as an analysis of her score. So stay tuned. So, uh, Janvi, are you ready? Yes. Should we start? Yes. Right, uh, we will start with part one. In part one, I will ask you some questions about topics that you're familiar with. So let's start. Uh, tell me a little bit about your hometown. Well, I was born in the city Dehradun. It is the capital city of the state Uttarakhand. It is located at the foothills of the Himalayas. That's why the weather there is very pleasant. And it also has very scenic views. And many people are moving there to for work and job as the city is developing regularly. Right. So has your hometown changed since you were a child? Yes, it has changed a lot. Earlier, it was not, not as crowded as it is today. And now it has become more polluted. But these days, it has better transportation and better infrastructure. Right. Excellent. So just hypothetically speaking, if you were to shift to another town or city, where would you like to shift and why? I would like to shift to Mumbai as it is a metropolitan city. And as I'm interested in historical monuments, there are many places to visit and many beaches to go around. And it is a main historical attraction. Right. Uh, let's talk about art now. Tell me a little bit about a piece of art, a painting or a sculpture that you like. I found the painting of Mona Lisa very fascinating. It was painted by the famous Italian artist, Leonardo da Vinci. The painting is historical and also has a mystical smile. That's why I like it. Right. Okay. So did you do any art when you were in school? Yes, I would love to draw landscapes and still life sometimes but usually I used to like paint and okay so uh, are most young people in your country interested in art and uh, if so why yes many people in my country they are interested in art but they don't see it as a career or or future prospect because it doesn't have many earning right okay uh, let's talk about sport now. What is your favorite game or sport and why do you like it so much? Well, cricket is one of the popular games in India. I like it because it's a very interesting game and I like how the players play with their all dedication and determination. Right. So what games did you play when you were in school? I like to play badminton and tennis as they maintain my fitness and they were very competitive. So did your family encourage you to play, uh, take part in sports? Yes, my family would support in any competition I would go. My parents are sports lover and my dad was also a sports person. Right. Thank you very much. That is the end of part one. We will now go to part two. In part two, I will give you a card. The card has a topic and several cues on it. You have one minute to prepare. During this one minute, you may take notes. After one minute, you will have to speak for up to two minutes on the topic given on your card. This is your card and your time has started. You may start now. Well, nowadays there is a booming trend of startups in my city, but I don't think not everyone is successful. I remember a few years back, my uncle used to discuss with my father like how he wanted to set up a small cafe with the name Sunset. In those days, he was not financially stable. Therefore, he did not hire many cooks or employees to work under him. He himself used to serve and cook for people the famous, uh, famous dishes or continental dishes. At first, he used to struggle to get customers. But initially, he started to get regular and more customers. Later, he managed to get a financial loan from the bank to take his business to a peak level, which is not everyone's cup of tea. Not only people started to come there, but also ordered the food online. He also sustained the quality and taste of the food. I firmly believe that due to his dedication and determination, his business has reached leaps and bounds.
Right, your uncle's company was ultimately successful, but many companies fail in the first year itself. Why is that so? Well, there are many reasons, but basically like poor knowledge of the market, poor formulated goals or poor HR policies. Right. So, uh, how important is it that uh, the top people in the company, the top management, play an important role in the company's development? they do have a very important role like they should have a they should have a vision and they should be empathetic to, towards the needs of the of the employees basically they must organize the company very well right so what is the role of small companies in a country's economy they have a very important role they cumulatively participate in the company's economy and they pro, they provide employment to many people Right. Uh, why are tech companies and startups more commonly seen today? Well, increasing footprints of the tech in our daily lives. Nowadays, many people have started online, their online business and the tech system has become very lucrative. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. This is an evaluation of uh, Janvi's spoken interview. I give Janvi a 5.5 in fluency and coherence. Because though she could demonstrate that she could speak without stopping or hesitating, she was also able to organize her answers well in part 1 and 2, but she could not develop her ideas fully in part 3. I gave Janvi a 6.0 in lexical resource. Her co-location was good. Her choice of words clearly communicated her ideas. But she did not use any advanced vocabulary or any idiomatic language. I gave Janvi a 6.0 in grammatical range and accuracy. Her answers did have a small number of grammatical mistakes, particularly in verb tense. But she used a decent range of simple compound and complex sentences. Finally, I gave Janvi a 6.0 in pronunciation because there was a small element of native language interference while she was speaking. She also mispronounced some words and did not stress other words accurately. So, this is Janvi's coin speaking in all four band descriptors. Overall, Janvi has scored a 6.0. Thanks for watching this video. For more insightful videos like this, subscribe, like and share to get your IELTS plans on track. Register at studyunifees.io.